Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. Today we're going to be installing a pedal monster and we're going to be hooking up with our already existing data monster from Bikes. Pedal monster, data monster, there's a lot of monsters inside of this. So we started receiving our pedal monsters from Bikes uh, a couple of weeks ago. We have already done a video for this as the pedal monster as standalone that works with the app you can download for your phone. We have a truck. Uh, 2016 Eco Diesel, Ram Eco Diesel. Uh, we have done an installation video on the Derringer with the Data Monster for this truck. And now we want to do the Pedal Monster as an expansion of that setup and try it out. So that's how, what we're going to be doing today and showing you how to do it. This is an easy install and it's uh, pretty seamless getting it to work with your Super Gauge or your Data Monster like we have. Uh, but the first thing that you've got to do with this is you've got to update your uh, iDash, Super Gauge, Data Monster, all the same thing with different functions, uh, but you have to download those. So since we have a Data Monster, it comes with the micro SD card and the jump for that. That's what you're gonna need if you just have an iDash or Super Gauge, you'll have to go and get yourself a micro SD card and hopefully uh, jump or something so you're able to hook it into your computer to be able to update it. So now we're gonna roll over to the computer screen and we're gonna show you how to do the update. We're back in the truck with our data monster and now it is time to install our update that we have done here. So you just wanna power it up, power it powers up for your truck. I've turned it around here so you can see it a little bit better. Once it fires up, what we're going to do is we're just going to insert our SD card and it'll come up and say SD ready. Then you hit the right button, go down to install updates. I can't remember what exactly what it is. Firmware update, hit the right button again. And then we want to do the iDash updates. We hit the right button again, choose the file. We hit it, it verifies it. Do you want to continue? Yes. And it'll go through this. And we're going to reboot a couple of times. I'll leave this real time for you all so you see how long it takes up to do this. You should hum for them in the meantime. Uh, I'm not a very good hummer. <laughs> that should not be used in any other context. <laughs> uh, side note there. <laughs> oh shoot. That'll be that'll be the that'll be the one that goes viral right there, Adam. All right, all right. So updates done. We're good to go. We can go ahead and remove the chip at this time. SD card removed. Make sure you keep your SD card, put it in a safe place, and there you go. So now we have done our firmware update. We are ready to physically install our pedal monster. When you purchase the bank's pedal monster, that is the upgrade for if you have an iDash, Super Gauge, or Data Monster. And I've already said that a thousand times in this video, so I'm just going to call it the iDash all the time, and it'll serve the purpose for serve the purpose for anything. Um, again, give you what this truck is. This truck has a Data Monster with the Derringer, and then we're doing this pedal monster upgrade for this. So now that we've gone through that for the last time how this interface is gonna work with the Derringer is you're gonna have your pedal monster at your uh, APPS sensor. And now our wire that comes from uh, our Derringer hookup outside of the hood, this normally goes to the data monster or the iDash. And then the iDash has a, has a wire that feeds down to the OBD2. You can look at that, the installation of our Derringer video in this, we'll link you to that. But this is gonna change with the Data Monster interface. What we're going to be doing now is the drop coming from the Derringer or coming from the engine side of the truck instead of going to the Data Monster, it's gonna to come to the Pedal Monster. Then the Pedal Monster is gonna come with a cord and it can hook in either side of this, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna show you doing it. 
it can hook into either side and then this wire is going to be our interface up to the data monster i dash whatever it is so we've got to get our data monster down get it get the wire from coming from the derringer unhooked from it and hooked into here all right working with our data monster here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unhook it from our windshield and what we're doing is we're just getting access to the back of it so we can unhook the cable and i had a little zip tie here so i'm going to cut that zip tie all right now the data monster pushes in and out of the cup fairly easily so we can just access the back side of it here for our cables and I'll show you. So you have a four pin and you have a, uh, what are those, that is, I'm sorry, six pin. So you've got a four wire connection and a six wire connection. The six wire connection is what we're wanting to unhook. This comes from our Derringer. So we're going to unhook it. Just like so. And then we'll go ahead and pull that cord out of our cup here and then let me just pull my trim off on this truck this is a 16 eco diesel dodge and what i'm going to do is just route my wire back down and through so we'll go ahead and pull this out and get this wire closer to our accelerator pedal So this is our wire from the Derringer that we just unhooked from our, our data monster here. Remember it can go in either side of the data monster so you're good to go there. Pick a side and you're good. So now we've got both our wires hooked into the data monster. Now this wire is going back to the data monster. So I'll feed that back up through again for us and then we'll hook it right back to the data monster we have our interface wire from the pedal monster here we're going to go ahead and feed it through the cup and hook it into the back of the data monster here hope you can kind of see that it just goes back into the six pin port dynamic shooting here by adam and i and there you go so that's got that taken care of so what we'll do is we'll just get our wire length fixed back up here and then tuck everything back in on this side of the truck. All right, time to hook our pedal monster into our accelerator position sensor, which is always the electrical uh, portion right above your, your gas pedal for lack of, a better, lack of a better terminology. So we're gonna go ahead and unhook here. Adam's gonna pass me the camera for some dynamic shooting here. And I am going to focus on that on these dodges there's no safety catch on the connector so i'll put down here so you can see it so you're using that catch right there is what you're going for so this is the stock harness side so we will go with the mail from our banks kit push that in until it clicks now the bank's end of the module. Adam, I'll ask you if you can just put a hand on it right there on the camera. I think we're in a pretty good position there. And I'm just gonna turn this around and hook it right back into the sensor. Now the bank's wiring harness that you're gonna get is going to have an actual safety tab on there. So you'll have to make sure that that is pushed up before you insert it back into your stock sensor. And push it till it clips. And then push your red tab in. And then there is your pedal monster uh, loose. You wanna make sure that you leave everything down here because you're going to have to push your pairing button um, on this so it's time to set our pedal monster up here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wake the um, wake the 
the data monster up here so on you guys that have got uh, keyless trucks you just need to be on run and then hit your right button to wake it up now we're going to hit our right button and what we're going to do first is we've got to calibrate our our pedal monster and we're going to go down here to the banks modules and hit right and pedal monster is our top selection we're going to hit right again we want to go down here to the calibrate and it says it's complete but we're going to run through it again calibration is required we hit yes depress gas pedal completely release gas pedal completely depress gas pedal completely release gas pedal completely success calibration is complete so we are in good shape here so our pedal we can start changing our levels here so we don't want to be in stock anymore we got the good stuff going so let's go to um, so you've got city sport and track on here which are uh, you can stay in your stock level or these three these three sub levels here so we'll go to sport and hit right and if you wanted to change it in level here you could but we're not going to do that so we're going to go back to the home screen now let's set up our gauges so that we have control of the pedal monster. So we're gonna hit the right uh, button again. We're going to go to gauge selection, or I'm sorry, gauge layout. Hit the right button, scroll all the way down here to the pedal monster. There's pedal monster combo, and then there's Derringer pedal monster. That gives you both of them on the same screen. So we're just gonna pull the pedal monster here up here so you can see it. So you can see we got the sport that we had um, that we had chosen we can run in the uh, in the 10 sub levels that you've got inside of sport so we'll start the truck you can see when you're throttling here it'll show you where you would have been stock and where the banks takes you to so that's pretty cool so let's go back here and let's do a different gauge layout. So let's do a gauge layout that gets us to um, gets us to having Derringer on there as well. So we're going to go to the Derringer pedal monster. Uh, so that gives us uh, our power levels on the left here for the uh, for the Derringer, and then we can hit the. hit the uh, left button and that gives us to the Derringer power levels so you can see that those are uh, changing when they're selected so the back button there selects between the two and you can go between two so pretty slick setup on our lead in here I think I made a uh, a little bit of a, a an error there I'd said leave your pedal monster loose because you want to press press the pairing button I said that out of habit because we just did the standalone video no pairing is needed here once you've got this hooked up uh, this is gonna be a really really nice addition to the Derringer you're gonna get your power increase from your Derringer and your overall better drivability and all of the things that come along with a tuned vehicle now you get the extra throttle sensitivity uh, hopefully to increase our um, our, our fuel economy, overall drivability of the truck is going to go up. We have some ride along videos that we did with our standalone showing with this. Uh, I think we could pull out of here. Actually, you know what? Let's do that, Adam. Let's, uh, let's zip tie the pedal monster up and get everything cleaned up. Let's go out here and take it for a drive. So we're doing our ride along here with our Derringer and our pedal monster combo. We want to show you another little functionality of the uh, pedal monster that you've got here when coupled with this iDash. Now, if you want to change through the levels, so you have your your different, uh, your four main levels, so you've got your stock pedal, uh, you've got your city pedal, you've got sport, and then you've got track, and then there's 10 sub-levels in those four levels, so uh, different levels. To, so to get back to the different levels, if you want to change that, if you go down, that gets you to uh, the lower levels and then you can function inside of each one of those. So you can take it all the way back to stock, you don't get any sub-levels of stock. And then you get city and you get 10 sub-levels, sport you get 10 sub-levels, and I got a guy behind me and I'm just yapping and then you've got track and 10 sub-levels. But if we wanted to go to uh, track from here, we just go to the 10th level in city. And it'll tell you zero pedals required here. So you go to the 10th level in city, that takes us to sport 
the tenth level in sport will take us to track, and of course we want to try it on its highest level. I mean, what is this? You know, it's just, you want to try it out. So, um, man, you can see with um, the red is where on the red bar there that's showing you where the Derringer is tell, telling the throttle to be. The white is where the computer would normally be asking for it to be. Uh, it is very very smooth um, the way it makes power it's honestly you think about it and it's there I mean it's 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 pretty well sensitive let's crank it up here on up to the main one zero pedal required dummy so yeah so there's wide open on track and that is very sensitive but that's pretty cool it really is I'll try to see where it gets from the stop start here because we'll be Kind of slowing down and that's not too jumpy i mean it's it uh it, it don't snatch you back in the seat or anything like that or or squeal tires and even if it does you you know you turn it down you 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 work inside of what works for you or works inside of your truck but overall you know easy install uh if you've got a derringer I, you know you're going to get better throttle sensitivity because of the tuning from the derringer but this just amplifies that with an additional module um, super easy to install really really liked it um, this entire project that we've done with banks with putting this derringer on this eco diesel uh, has really been a really been a success for us we've been very impressed with it so if you have a question about any banks products you have a question about ram eco diesels you have a question about whether we are going to have college football this year or any questions about my phenomenal driving skills here in our industrial area behind our shop that's sketcherific give us a call we're going to link you in this video to the unboxing of the pedal monster and um, that will get you a general idea of what comes with the pedal monster because our unboxing is actually a, the standalone version which will be the same thing as what we have with this except for you get the cable with the um, with the pedal monster that couples with the derringer you get the cable that runs from the derringer to the pedal monster and then pedal monster out to the display all right so i'm wade thoroughbred diesel got any questions give us a call thanks for watching